We are now going to tape Sue's wrist. Common injuries for the wrist are flexing it or extending it beyond what it normally wants to go, and thereby straining either the top or the bottom of the wrist. So our tape, whose job is to support an injured area and reduce the direction in which the injury occurred. So we're gonna start with a spot down on the hand and then tape upwards. Always make sure you tape up towards the heart because that helps with circulation and prevents injuries. When we tape, we also want to overlap by about half, one third to half, and then we're going to, in this particular case, do what we call a figure eight. We're gonna come across the wrist, and we're gonna come down. Now you wanna make sure that thumb is spread nice and wide, and we're gonna overlap it by about a half or a third. You wanna make sure you minimize any wrinkles so there's no chance of developing a blister. And then we're gonna do one last one to make it nice and secure, which I'm sure it already is. And we're going to finish it off with a little bit of a lock on top. And what we've done here is we've stopped the wrist from bending forward, and you can see the line supporting the wrist where on the other side, there's not any protection there because that's not the direction that we're trying to go. With self-grip, every tape should be patted down to make certain it's adhering well to the skin or to the injured area.